We called it like that because um, we it's a quote from one of our own songs, but uh, it's also a quote to Woody Allen and uh, Morrissey. Uh, and uh, we haven't done this intentionally. When we when we put six months as a long time into our song Young, it was uh, not uh, with the intention of uh, biting uh, Morrissey or uh, Woody Allen. But afterwards, we found out that this is a quote done earlier by two of our favorite geniuses, Woody Allen and Morrissey. And that's why we chose to call the album also Six Months is a Long Time. Other than that, it's also, uh, it took around six months to record the album. Wow, that's quite a short time. Really. No, but well, that was just a recording. Oh, okay, just recording. We okay. spent uh, three years making the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, your lyrics are a bit melancholic in this album as well. Yes. So um, how does this, that feeling come in, in, come into the songs? Uh, the melancholic feeling yes. comes there because we put it there. <laughs> of course, yeah. But um, as you are, like, are you melancholic people? Or is yes. it just just like experienced in life? No, but you know, we are melancholic people. We are uh, from uh, the north of uh, and from Bergen and. Yes. Uh, and uh, well, life is not always fun, of course. and it can't be because then it's not fun. You gotta have uh, the yin to uh, appreciate the yang. Okay. You know what I mean? You, you you can't feel up all the time. Yes. You gotta, uh, and when it comes to songs, I definitely think uh, think the best songs are the sad songs. Okay. And, uh, we love the sad songs and we love to make sad songs. Okay, so let's stay with your lyrics and with your song. So you um, have a song which is called No Song and you once said in an interview that you more often say no. Um, how does this thing have an inter impact on your own life when you say no more often? Well, I used to be a yes man. I always also say that in the song. And uh, that's very tiring. Yeah. And uh, it's very hard to keep focus. And uh, the, the year I started to say no, everything uh, for me became way better. Because I'm a guy that likes to have fun, and you know I like to I like to say yes to fun projects and uh, just you know parties or whatever. But uh, when you started uh, to say no, I started to appreciate the stuff I said yes to way more because I'm still saying yes to stuff. You but think about it more. A, a, a little bit of a selection of things, you know, to, to select your path mm -hmm. and then you are in control yourself. So, so then you choose what you do by okay. saying no to certain things mm -hmm. and to say yes to certain things. Okay. But, uh, but Again, to, it's yes. the yin and the yang, you know, you can't really, if you say yes to everything, it's not, uh, you don't really decide anything of what you're doing because you, you're just saying yes. Is it like you're um, just reflecting things more when you say no, like on thinking about it twice? Yes, maybe a little bit of that, of course, also. But uh, yeah, it's all, you make yourself a little bit more exclusive. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> so um, when we talk about role models, you have your song Bill Clinton. So which are different or other mo role models which are important for you? Uh, uh, a lot of good role models. It's, it's always... I watch role models like if you see a role model and you you can watch that like ah oh, how cool wouldn't it be him but it's it's cool to to set some some cool role models so like father is a good role model if it's a good father but uh, <laughs> me I have uh, Tupac um, <laughs> I have how many else follow you know we have a lot of role models and. Uh, Ireland. Our our godfather Alan Aya is a role model. He is great at uh, life, uh, and uh, also you know, like he said, Tupac, and I can uh, I can mention a lot of rappers, okay. because what rappers do, they uh, they are uh, really self confidence, you know, and um, and in uh, in this world you have to fight for your right to be cool. 
and uh, and. Uh, but what is cool when you say it? Like, I, I think cool. like Lil Wayne is cool and John Lennon is cool, okay. Paul Simon is but cool. Is not. <laughs> yes, just be Bieber is cool. He's, yeah. he's cool, you know. He is. He's balling. <laughs> <laughs> he's got all the girls yeah. in the world, yeah. you know, and he's not even 20. Come on. And yeah. he's been working hard since he was a uh, child, yeah, he's you know. He's no. Maybe he's not the coolest guy to hang out with, but he do a lot of cool stuff. Okay. That's what counts, you know. When you're 100 years and lie in your deathbed. He would say, uh, I recorded this album. album. I, I worked I with this, this guy. I did that. I did that. I did, I did that. I did cry because I did it because, uh, yeah, I just... I just did, did right a lot of cool stuff yes. and then you become cool. It doesn't really matter okay. how you are as a person, you know. Yeah. It depends what you do. Okay. That's what uh, matters. Okay. And for us, we are really proud. You know, we already done three albums. Yeah. We are already touring the world. And uh, I'm uh, just turned 27. I'm 24. He's 24. And uh, we are on a path of being pretty cool, you know? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Yes. Right, so Norway is the home of metal. Yes. yes. Black metal. Bergen. Black metal Bergen. Yes. yes. Yeah. And so um, does that have an impact on your music? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Not in your text or in no. your um, No, but also but there you have a role model because we, me and Big P, we are a big fan of Satyricon, which, mm -hmm. is, which is actually a black metal band from Oslo. But the guy, the lead singer in Satyricon, Satir, he's a really cool guy, you know, and he is uh, really... He has, yeah, uh, he has a really nice way of looking at life. He yeah. demands a lot of life. And this is is what we are really inspired by. Okay. And also, the black metal people, uh, they call themselves uh, satanics. Mm -hmm. And uh, w what they believe in is that uh, the elite of the humanity, like yeah. you should be the best you can be. Mm -hmm. And that is a big ex inspiration. I don't necessarily agree with everything, but I think that hey, you should fucking do some cool stuff while you're still alive and be, it takes but a little bit of work. Uh, and that's a cool stuff. Yes, you know? because this is a great understand a misunderstanding here in Germany as well. Yeah. Because Satanism doesn't mean that you believe in uh, like not bad things, not but you, that you just live your life but and do what you want. Yes, yes. But, but it's a really a selfish way of living yes, as of well. Because you're always setting yourself first. Yes, and yeah. this I strongly disagree yeah. with, because I don't think you will have a nice life yeah. if you're mega egoistic guy yeah because uh, i'm more like a bob marley uh, john land kind of guy yeah. when it comes to that okay. but when it, when it comes to the quality of what you uh, how, how you spend your time and uh, doing it you know mm. i think it's uh, a really big inspiration yeah. and you have other guys you know like varg vikanes from bergen he, he killed the guy but he is uh, he is also a very smart guy. And a really talented uh, musician. Yes. Yeah. But uh, also crazy in his head yes. because he killed another guy. Yes. But, uh, uh, but at the same time, if you look at his work and what he's actually saying, it's yeah. pretty interesting. I think, I, think um, I don't know if you think so, but the craziness is in their music. And I think it's a very important fact that they ask the crazy and they put it into their music as well. Yeah, especially the black people, uh, black metal people, they are, they are really into the crazy stuff. Yeah, but I don't, you know, I don't look at it that way. I don't think it's um, the crazy. The crazy is just a, a side effect when you can't control yourself, yeah. you know. Hey, I think and, uh, interpret yeah, so. I, I think you don't have to be crazy to be a genius at all. But a lot of geniuses are crazy. Uh, and a lot of um, people in general are crazy. And not all crazy people are a genius, you know. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Uh, I would say it's way more uh, uh, crazy people that are not genius. Okay. So the genius, you should never uh, put that... Uh, I don't want to... I don't like when people say genius and crazy in the same sentence even, because a lot of people think that you have to be crazy to be a genius or to do good stuff. It's not like that. Yeah. Crazy is just a sad side effect a lot of people have in different uh, ways. Yeah. You know, true, yeah. some people go so crazy that they kill another pe person, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, but some people are just crazy that they have to bite their fingernails or, you know, uh, it's different. Yes, uh, of course, there uh, are different interpretations yeah. of craziness. Yes. Okay, so let's go a bit crazy. So yeah. if, you <laughs> <laughs> if you would imagine that tomorrow ends the, uh, the world is going to end, mm. what would be... Okay, it's not that good imagination, but what, yes, but what would be the last song you would like to hear? Oh, that's a hard question. 
Uh, I would probably go Rex with Mozart. Okay. <laughs> no, but I would probably choose some Mozart. Okay. Yeah. And your song? But not Rex. Uh, I don't know. I would. Uh, I would try to uh, to do a happy song or something like that. Uh, uh, something that brings me in a good mood. I don't know. Okay. Shuffle my Spotify. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's stay with the music. Um, what does music make good music? What is the fact that makes music good? I think realness okay. is uh, is a big part there because uh, you can see so easily when people have not done it 100%. Yeah. And if they have done it 100%, it it, 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 it certainly is some kind of realness in there. Okay. And also, it's, I think what Pish is saying about realness is uh, definitely important. But it depends. You know, it, it really depends. You know, I don't think when Mozart made his music, it came from the heart. Yes. Most of the times, yeah. it did. But I, I'm sure he someday just got up of his chair and said, ah, I don't care about this. I'm just going to write something. Mm -hmm. And it's still good. Yeah. You know, you have examples like that. Yes. And that, yeah. but that's real though. Yeah, you know, it's real. Yeah. You know, that's why we like uh, Britney Spears also, be, because okay. sometimes it, good music can be really just on the surface, yeah. you know. But if you have to choose one thing, it, it's when it like from a real place, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, so two last questions. Um, when you could write a song, or w which would be the song you never dared to write? Or <laughs> would be what would be a good theme you ever wanted to write about, but you didn't dare to? It's not about daring, it's about being able to. Okay. You know, some days uh, I have an idea in my head about something I want to write about, and I just can't find a wording. But it takes just time, okay. you know? I can give a great example on the song Savior mm -hmm. on our record. Mm -hmm. I've been like wanting to make this song about uh, um, of the destiny of a girl. Or a woman, you know, yeah. in, a in a melancholic way. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And I just couldn't do it just for years, years. And then one day, it, came to you. it just, bam, there it was. Okay. But the plan of making a song that was a melancholic song about uh, a female, you know, tragedy, not, not a tragedy, just a melancholic. In a romantic way as well. Yes, it, it's, it became. That was not the original idea. That was just how Sarah became. Mm -hmm. My idea, I wanted, you know, I think it's nothing is sadder than to see a girl mm -hmm. uh, alone okay. that don't want to be alone. Okay. <laughs> or an old uh, woman that that, uh, alone. that is alone, that the man <laughs> has died, you know, or she can't find a husband. You know, I think this is some of the... That's the core of melancholy, yeah. <laughs> in in my point of view. Yeah. I think it's way sadder with a, a lonesome girl than with a lonesome boy. Yeah. I don't know why I think that, but okay. <laughs> for me as well, yeah. I think that's really sad. Yeah. Yes. But it, uh, it just took years. I think it's four years since I first had that idea yeah. of making that song. It has and to grow. It yes, and then like it just came. You make experiences. You can let influence the song as well. Mm. Mm. That's what ma makes music. Yes. Yeah, yes. As it is. But yeah, and other days it just you just uh, make a hit like like this on the spot. You don't okay. have to think about it. It's just uh, different every time. Yeah. So um, this year you're touring with your new album and you released it. What comes 2014? Can you say something for your fans? Uh, we are not uh, quite sure yet, but it will probably be a little tour as well. But we are doing different stuff. Mm -hmm. Always something is happening, but it's not really set in stone yet. Okay. It's nicer to to plan as little as possible yeah. and okay. just do what you do good and then see where you are after you've done what you've done. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you. You had a, a great questions. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.